In this video, I'm going to show you three different ways to earn passive income with Ethereum cryptocurrency. And these are all going to be on top of this massive appreciation that you're getting with this bull market that's going on right now. Now, you don't have to be a developer in order to do this, but if you've been following along with all the educational content that I've been putting out on this YouTube channel, then you're going to have a massive advantage with each of these strategies. So I'm going to go over those ways in this video and show you how you can implement each of them step by step. So before we get into that, if you're around here, hey, I'm Gregory, and on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to this channel. So one of the reasons that Ethereum is so amazing is there are so many different things you can do with it. You can use it as money, an investment, you know, store of value. You can pay for transactions inside blockchain applications, but you can also use it to earn passive income just out of the box, right? On top of all this crazy appreciation that you're getting in this current bull market. So how do you do that? Well, with Ethereum staking, all right? And before you just like pause the video and, and leave, like there's a lot more to Ethereum staking than you might've heard about. You might be like, oh, I know about Ethereum staking. Well, let me tell you about a couple different strategies that you may not have considered. And all these strategies are gonna give you a massive an advantage if you have the technical skills that I show you on this YouTube channel. And if you're not a developer already, don't worry, like you can still follow these instructions and learn how to do this. So really quickly, like what is staking if you don't know? Just don't worry, like there's a lot of newcomers to this space, especially right now. Uh, and there are no dumb questions. So I want to clear this up. Well, basically, this is where you take your cryptocurrency and you lock it up to the network to uh, validate transactions, okay? So you might have heard like Bitcoin mining. Well, Ethereum works the same way right now, but we're transitioning to Ethereum 2.0. And in Ethereum 2.0, you will stake cryptocurrency in order to earn a passive income reward, all right? And this is such a big deal, like I said, because you're getting, you know, all this passive income on top of the long-term appreciation of Ether as it goes up in price, okay? And for some people, this is their end game is to basically buy Ether and never sell it because they can earn passive income this way, right? So depending on your tax jurisdiction, you might have to sell your ETH pay taxes on it and then put it into something else that earns passive income. But if you buy ETH and never sell it and you can earn passive income on it this way, well, then you never have to basically pay taxes on your initial gain. All right. Now you do need 32 Ether in order to maximize the amount of passive income you can earn with this strategy, but that's not the only way to do this. All right. So those are the three ways I'm going to talk about in this video. So one is to run a full validator node yourself. All right. Number two is to create an ETH staking pool. And number three is actually to take that staking pool and turn it into a full-fledged staking business so that other people can stake with your pool. I'm going to go over each of those strategies in this video, but I'm going to show you how to implement each of these strategies step-by-step step inside the staking masterclass on Wednesday, January 20th, 2021. So sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. All right, so let's go through all these different ways individually. So way number one is to stake yourself. Okay, so this means you need your own Ethereum cryptocurrency and you're going to run a validator node on this network. All right, so basically you're going to create your own computer uh, that participates in running the Ethereum blockchain. You're going to take your own cryptocurrency. You're going to lock it up in this node and you're going to earn a passive income reward for doing this. So the time to record this video, uh, that passive income reward is going to be about 10%, just a little more than that. Okay, so think about, you know, earning 10% on top of an asset that's continually increasing potentially over time. All right. And so that's one of the biggest benefits of this. So that's, that's the major pro that I put in the pros column is that, you know, maximize return in terms of the percentage yield that you'll get and also in terms of the total amount that you'll get from passive income, okay? So the cons are that you need 32 Ether in order to stake. So, so at the time we record this video, you know, it's gonna be like $32,000. And for a lot of people who are just getting in now, that's probably too much, but maybe not, you know, maybe not for you. But uh, there are gonna be lots of people who watch this YouTube channel who are accumulating Ether, you know, in the bear market and bought it much cheaper than that, but may still wanna do something like this. And so if you are going to use this strategy, then what do you need? Well, like I said, you have to run one of these nodes, uh, which means that you can do it a few different ways. You can either create your own computer and, you know, uh, run it at your home and, you know, create, you run an Ethereum validator, stake your cryptocurrency that way, or you can do it in the cloud. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do it inside the masterclass. So I'll show you how to create a cloud server that will run an Ethereum validator node. All right. And we're going to walk through all these setup steps to create your own, uh, you know, set up, walk through all these these steps to get in the deposit contract and participate in the Ethereum 2.0 launch. Okay, and that's how you're going to earn that passive income reward uh, with this strategy. So way number two is to pool your funds. All right. So if you don't have 32 Ether, then you can basically create a pool where other people can join you in that effort to run an Ethereum validator. So you still need to run one of these computers. Okay. 
Uh, but you don't have to just use your cryptocurrency. You can use friends and family money. You can use investor money. Lots of different ways to do this. And so that's one of the biggest pros, right? You don't necessarily need 32 Ether in order to do this. Uh, but the cons are that the you know total return is going to be less. But if you don't have 32 ETH in the first place and you can't do the first strategy, then you know this is this would be the next best thing. So what would be the simplest way to do this? Well, the easiest way would be to just go in with people that you trust, all right, to pull your funds together and just send it to the same Ethereum wallet and then stake it that way. Okay, so that'd be like friends and family money. I'll just I'll just call it that. Okay. Now you'll still need to run an Ethereum validator node in order to do that, but if you can get everybody to like pull the funds together to the same wallet that you know they, they trust you to run this, then you can just send that money to the validator and start earning that passive income reward that way. So, right? so that's like the friends and family strategy, people who trust you basically. So I mean, that may be the investors too, but I'll just I'll just call it that. So the next way would be to actually create a smart contract, okay? And that's where you would take a smart contract that reduces uh, some of the trust factor here, where pe other people who don't necessarily know you are sending funds to the smart contract, and then the uh, smart contract can deposit funds on your behalf to the validator nodes. They know where the funds are going, that you can't just like run off with the money or something like that, okay? So um, th then the last way would basically be create like a staking pool service. And I'll talk about that more in the next point, but that's where, uh, you know, you would, you'd, have a, you'd have a website, that would talk to a smart contract that would facilitate this process that uh, would allow people to connect with MetaMask and then send their funds that way. And it would have some sort of like timeline and like goal. And so that would look like this, where basically you have, uh, you know, a website that advertises people you don't necessarily know that they can, uh, you know, connect with their MetaMask and you have a goal and a timeline, all that kind of stuff. And you just like go through the stake now process and they can do everything through the UI. They don't necessarily have to know you. What do you need if you're going to go through this process for strategy number two? Well, you, of course, need some Ether, whether it's your Ether or other people's, right? You can just pull it together. And uh, if you're going to do the first part of this strategy where you control the funds, then basically you can just uh, control the wallet. So you need an Ethereum wallet, and then you need to, of course, run this validator node. Now, if you're going to get more advanced than that, and you want to do a smart contract, then you need a smart contract that uh, you know custodies the funds of the users. And if you're going to take it to the next level to create a uh, website like this, then, of course, you need a front-end user interface that lets other people walk through this that talks to that smart contract. But I'm going to show you each of these three ways, okay? So strategy number three would be to create a staking business, all right? So this is where basically you'd just be taking other people's money and you'd be staking it for them and you'd be charging a fee, okay? So the pros to this strategy are that you don't need any ether, <laughs> All right, you're just going to take other people's money. But the cons are that, you know, you have to play the volume game. So basically, if you don't have any Ether to stake, um, then, you know, you have to get a lot of other people's money in order to get that passive income reward. So how would you do this? So this is what I would consider a minimally viable staking business. Okay, so it, it has a website that other people can use to connect with MetaMask in order to stake their Ethereum cryptocurrency. So I'll just do a little demo on how this works. So basically, uh, you know, it tells you, hey, you can earn, you know, 4 to 22% APY on your ETH. Like that's basically uh, what you see here on these charts. Okay, uh, that's, that's the range. And, um, you know, we have a deadline. So basically we're trying to pool everybody's funds by a certain time. And um, in order to get 32 ETH or, or more, right? And they can walk through the staking workflow themselves. So they can just click stake now. And, you know, of course there's a risk involved. Like I understand. And they can say, you know, hey, I want to send, you know, two ETH or like, you know, one ETH or something like that. And I just click stake. And I sign the transaction with MetaMask, click confirm, all right, and the amount of ETH staked goes up. So other people connect to this, do this over and over again. But that's what it does. So this is a front-end website that other people can access on the World Wide Web. Uh, it talks to a, a smart contract on the blockchain, okay, uh, that pools the funds. And if the uh, funding is successful, then some, then basically those funds can be transferred to the Ethereum 2.0 phase zero so they can be locked up so they can earn that passive income reward. Uh, and if it's not successful, then of course the investors can just claim their funds back so they don't miss out on that opportunity. So it's kind of like an ICO a little bit in that regard, uh, where there's a, there's a crowdfunding campaign. You're basically crowdfunding an Ethereum validator.
And so this is what I would consider a minimally viable staking business. So, you know, you could take this and build on top of it and build something more sophisticated. Like this is a little bit of a, a, a custodial staking solution. You can make it more decentralized. You can make it more advanced. But this is the exact uh, starter kit that I'm going to give away into the masterclass. So you don't have to code this from scratch. I'm going to give you the entire code solution and you can do with it, you know, whatever you want to. All right. So last, I want to talk about some, you know, words of caution, some warnings, because there's definitely things you need to know before you even try to do something like this. Okay. So, um, you know, ETH definitely has a lot of room for appreciation and it's awesome that you can earn this 10% passive income reward on this, but there's a risk reward you know, scenario here, right? You're taking on risk for doing this. So one of the biggest risks is that, you know, this is for Ethereum 2.0 phase zero and you have to lock your ETH up for a long time before you can get it back again. Okay. So this might be a year, might be two years. Um, so just know that before you decide to go down this road, if you decide to run your own validator, stake your ETH, you can't get it back for a while. But if you believe in Ethereum for the long term, uh, like I do, and you're not really planning on selling it anytime soon, or maybe a portion of your ETH you're not planning on selling anytime soon. And so if you're a holder for life or for a long period of time, maybe 10 years, five years, whatever it is, you may not care about the two-year period that you have to get locked up, right? So same for other people. If you're trying to pull funds, you may not care about that, okay? But you need to know that before you get into it. All right, so that's all I got. Those are the three ways to earn passive income with Ethereum cryptocurrency by staking it, all right? So you might have known about Ethereum staking, but these are some extra ways that you may not have considered. And you're going to have a massive leg up on these uh, as a blockchain developer, or if you've learned the technical skills that I show you on this channel. And again, you don't have to be a developer to do this. As long as you can follow instructions, you can make this work, okay? So make sure you sign up for the staking masterclass. It's going to be on Wednesday, uh, January 20th, all right? Sign up with the link down below to hold your spot today. So if you want to get ready before then, you know, brush up on your technical skills, or maybe this space has just got you fascinated like it does me. Like I, I, got, in, I got interested in blockchain technology and blockchain development by watching cryptocurrency prices back in 2017. And now that we're here again in 2021, uh, watching this space blow up like crazy again, all over again, maybe lots of people who are you know new to this space, interested and want to learn about the tech like I did, okay? So what's the best way to do that? Well, you can go to my YouTube homepage. You can find any of my free courses there. They're like Udemy courses, but they're totally free, all right? And if you like those and you want to take the next step, then hey, I can show you how to master blockchain step-by-step step from start to finish over at dappydiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. You don't have to be a developer to get started today. I've helped lots of people with zero coding background uh, become real world blockchain developers. All right. Again, so that's all I've got. Make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to this channel. And until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.